very exciting. I've got my first female jackfruit flower on the property and in this video I'm going to show you how to make sure it's properly pollinated. So this is the female flower and as you can see it's covered with tiny little flowers and each one of these can technically be pollinated and turn into an aril or the fruity part of the jackfruit. That doesn't happen obviously, uh, jackfruit couldn't have that many segments inside it, but the more that are pollinated or receive pollen, the better. If the flowers don't get pollinated with enough of the pollen, then oftentimes the flowers will actually fall off and won't produce a jackfruit. So while once I've got three mature jackfruit trees, that's not going to be a problem. Considering this is my first flower, I really want to do a good job of pollinating it. Both male and female flowers are present on the same tree. And if I move down this branch, you'll see a male flower on the exact same plant on the same tree. This is a Brinsmead jackfruit, a grafted tree. And you can see this flower already has some pollen on it. It's ready to pollinate our female flower. So you might be wondering how you tell the difference between the males and the females. Well, let's have a closer look at these two flowers. Oftentimes you'll hear that the defining feature is the collar on the female flower. So you can see on this flower on the right, the female, there is a collar above the flower. But in this particular cultivar, a male also has a little collar. And although it is smaller, that's not the defining feature. Easiest way, male flowers, you'll see they get covered in the pollen. They also aren't covered in the little bumps. So the females, you can see the little bumps of the individual female flowers all over the developing flower and future fruit. Whereas the males don't have that. It almost looks smooth because the little flowers are so tiny. That's the main way I can tell the difference. Uh, males are usually much smaller. This is quite a large one. I've got another one just behind here. You might be able to see if I can pull it in the shot. So that's a, a more typical size male flower on this tree, much smaller. And there you can see the collar description or the collar difference actually come into play. So with a smaller flower, yeah, their males do have a much smaller collar compared to the females. But with a larger male flower, not so much. Now if I wanted a flower from a different tree or if it was higher in the tree, I'd use my secateurs and I'd cut it off and I'd take it over the flower and just rub it on the outside. But as this flower is so close, I don't even need to do that. I can just rub it around the outside of the female jackfruit flower. Doing that should ensure good pollination and a great fruit when it eventually ripens. Hope you found this useful, even if just for identifying when you do get a female jackfruit flower Word of warning, most jackfruit trees will produce a lot of male flowers before they eventually produce a female. And of course the male flowers don't go on to grow into a fruit or don't produce a fruit. It's the female flower that goes on to produce the hopefully delicious, depending on the cultivar, jackfruit. The final stage for me here is to going to be to put a cage around this tree or my dogs will eat this jackfruit the minute it starts to develop. So I'm gonna go and do that now. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.